Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well we've been putting together this uh, little site here with a fantastic Divi 4 theme from Elegant Themes. If you want to take it for a test run you can do so from my affiliate link below this video. Today we're going to put together a little filtered portfolio section. These are great if you've got sort of blog posts and things with various different categories and you want to showcase them and let people select from the various different categories that you've got going on. Really easy to do and of course when you click on one of these it should take you to the actual portfolio item. There we go. So Let's go back and I'm going to go to a page where this isn't and we'll start and make it. So first thing I'm going to do is enable the visual builder to enable us to build on the front end here. Once loaded, let's go down to where we want to work. I'll work down the bottom here. Let's add a new section, blue one for section, green one for a row. I'm going to add a new section. I'm going to make it a regular section. And I'm going to have one row, one column. Once you put your row in, it's going to prompt you to put a module in. And by default, Divi comes with all these modules as standard. And it's also got another 16 if you're using the WooCommerce and selling products on your line. So let's add a filterable portfolio. Now to make this actually work, you have to have project items. If I go to my projects right here, I've got a bunch of projects with various categories. And you have to have projects. This won't work on actual posts, but it will work on projects. And in our last video, we showed you if you've got posts, how to, how to actually change posts into projects with a free plugin, really easy. If you need to know how to do that, just check out that video. So here are all our posts, so we've got plenty and we've got several categories. So if we go back to our page here, let's say 16. And let's include the categories that we've got here. And if we look down, it's actually put them in, but it's put them in full width. Each one's full width. So I'm going to go to design. I want mine to be just like a grid. So I'm going to go to layout and I'm going to go to grid. And as you can see, I'll just move this out of the way a little bit. It's put them all in grid shape there, which is fine. We've got our image our featured image we've got our title and we've got our metadata underneath if we go back to our content tab you can decide what elements you want to display if you don't want to show the title just take that away but i'm going to show mine if you don't want to show categories put that away pagination this is the page thing at the bottom you can uh, get rid of that that way but all of those are absolutely fine by me <clears throat> okay so now we've got it up there we've actually got everything we need there's our filter right there it'll switch between the various different categories and you can leave it right there if that works for you but I want to just style mine a little bit and make it make it my own what I'm going to do is is push these all together and I'll put this in the middle and perhaps give it a colored background so let's just save what we got going on there I'm going to go into the row, the green one, blue one for the section, green one for the row. And I want to go to design and sizing. I want to use a custom gutter width because I want to pull them all together on top of each other. So I'm going to slide this all the way to the left. There we go. And that's kind of on top of each other there, which is fine. If you wanted to get rid of the metadata, you could have it like a, a bit of a gallery there. But I'm going to put our titles back in there. So now we've got the gutters how we want them. Like I say, I've taken it to one, which is the lowest, which is nothing between 
the actual columns and nothing between the actual rows. So let's save that and go back into our module. Gray one for the module. Elements. I'm not seeing my title. Let's turn that off and put that back on again. There we go. I've got my titles in there. Okay, let's go over to design. I want sort of everything in the middle. I want this to be in the middle. I want to middle align our text. So I'm just going to go to text and I'm going to hit the middle align button. Now our selection fill buttons are in the middle and all our text down here is in the middle. Let's see, I'm going to want the metadata. I want to make that orange. Go with the rest of our site that we've got going on here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the background of our section dark gray. So I want to make this writing light in color, which is the general text right there. So if we go back up to our text, I'm going to flip that to light. As you can see, it's disappeared because at the moment it's on a, a white background. So let's just save this. Hit the save button. I'm going to go to my section, the blue tab up here. I'm going to give it a dark gray background or sort of medium dark background, which is 333. You've got color, gradient, image, or video. I'm just going to use a color. I'm going to put in a 333, which is medium dark gray. There we go. And that's pretty much all I want to do to this. Let's save it and make sure it's going to work. Let's just change that overlay. The moment it's white, I'm going to make it blue and I'm going to make the icon white. So we're back into our module here, design, overlay. Icon color, I'm going to make white. Hover overlay color, I'm going to make blue. Now when you hover, you can't see through there. So I want to adjust that color so we can see a bit of the background in there. I'm going to pull that down about a third or so just so we can see some of the image behind. That's fine. And I'm going to change that icon to perhaps a play icon. Something just like that. There we go. That's fine. All right. Well, let's save and see what we've got here. Down to the purple button at the bottom. Hit the little green save button. And when it's saved, let's exit our visual builder. Go down to where we worked. And here we are, let's test it out. It's got the no gutters there, so they're on top of each other. The overlay's working fine. Check our filters. Yeah, it's filtering between the different categories. Fantastic. Just make sure one of them is going to work. Fantastic. There we have it. That is how to design a filterable portfolio section. Really easy with a Divi 4 theme. Like I say, if you want to take it for a test drive, you can do so from my affiliate link below this video. But that's a nice little thing to have on your site. It's eye catching and it's really useful, especially if you have got projects or posts. And these don't have to be blog posts. They can. I built sites with uh, real estate and these are actual different projects, houses that have been built and stuff. Really useful little system. In our next video, we'll use a bit of custom CSS and we'll customize our uh, categories buttons up here and make them our own. So I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, share, comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you're interested in web design, take a look down below. We've got some great free courses down there. We've also got some premium courses with some huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers. So do check it out. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.